Early concepts of Halo Infinite's story have been revealed showcasing the Arbiter being involved with it, the Spirit of Fire involved with the Battle of Zeta Halo, and in return to the planet of Reach, and a ton of other little details. So if you guys want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So take a look at this concept art right here. This is the Arbiter talking with, looks like to be Spartan Linda right there as well. Talking with maybe like a Sage from Diablo or something like that. I'm looking like talking about some Guardian action going on right here. Uh, this is some early concept art of the story that was going to be intended for Halo Infinite. And a ton of images like this one have been revealed to the internet, which kind of showcases some of the ideas 343 was playing around with that could have been for the story of Halo Infinite. You can tell that this is early on because Linda is rocking the Halo 5 armor set that she has. Because if you look at this image right here from the Shadows of Reach cover, you can see Linda has a very different armor set. So to me, this showcases some early on concepts, which I know a lot of people would love to see the Arbiter come back, myself included. Maybe they have something kind of possibly working on down the line, but we just have to wait and see. This next bit of art showcases a return to the planet of Reach. There are multiple concepts of settlements on Reach, so definitely seem like they played something out when it comes to returning to the planet. As you can see, the split mountain right here, that's we know from the familiar ending of Halo Reach. Some more images of broken up vehicles and kind of a barren wasteland of what Reach kind of is right now. More examples being showcased right here and even an example of our favorite little truck that we remember from the campaign right here, showcase right there in the concept art as well, which is like a little bit of a throwback. I'm like, I remember driving that thing. That was pretty cool. This bit of concept art is actually showcased within the art of Halo Infinite, which is kind of interesting that it made it into that book with it never really making it into the game at all. They do state that a lot of these concept arts, especially this early on stuff, a lot of times with concept art, and they say this in the book as well, that these are kind of early explorations of what this would look like, nothing that's really been played out or modeled or anything like that in game, just some story ideas that they were playing around with. And you can see right here a giant Oni base right here on the planet Reach, which when I saw this in the art book, it didn't state that it was on the planet Reach at all. It just showcased this. I'm like, there's no way Oni could like build something like this this quickly on Zeta Halo, because this is on Reach. Next, we have a concept art piece right here of the Spirit of Fire involved with the battle on a Halo ring. I mean, we're talking about Halo Infinite, most likely being the battle of Zeta Halo. Now, if I remember correctly, we did not see any kind of markers of the Spirit of Fire being involved with the battle of Zeta Halo. Now, this is very interesting. This is definitely the UNSC Infinity going down to Zeta Halo. Now, we definitely didn't have this confirmed at all within the campaign. Uh, it seems like the Infinity is just kind of disabled down and out, but didn't really make it clear that if it was destroyed or not. I guess that it isn't, but uh, this is definitely some interesting concept art for sure. Probably playing back on the pillar of autumn, falling on that halo ring, trying to recover those same old feels. This one's very interesting because it shows Cortana on what looks to be future Earth right here. And you can see that she's on the screen. So they kind of just use like the stock image that we've seen all the time with it just because it's all concepts. It would be kind of cool to see how Earth was affected by the Guardians and the takeover by Cortana. You can even see some of the uh, Promethean guards right here as well within the crowd kind of overlooking the humans and Cortana just being like, you know, as people refer to her as Space Hitler, uh, <laughs> being the uh, over ruling dictator that she want, wanted to be so badly but kind of a shame we didn't get a chance to see the effect of it on earth it probably hit home a lot more with cortana's effect on the galaxy because it's literally at our home but again interesting ideas that they were playing around with when it comes to developing halo infinite story now this bit of concept art is very interesting this is master chief interacting with the weapon and you can see master chief definitely rocking his halo 5 armor set so this must have been Kind of early on when they're like you know what we need to kind of change course with the story that we're trying to build here and make it more like how do we phase out cortana and the uh the created storyline in a way to where we can have the weapon who's basically cortana but not you know what i mean so it's cool to know that this was like a set story point that they wanted to move forward with this kind of story arc and character development. Here are some early explorations of the redesign of the Spiker. If you guys remember that weapon right there on the upper left from Halo 3 and also Halo Reach. Well, this was a redesign that they were looking to do and this looks freaking fierce. Like this is something that looks totally badass. It makes you kind of wish that the Spiker was in the game now because this thing looks freaking cool. Here are some more of the 
redesigns that they were trying to play around with. I definitely like this bottom right one. This main one makes it look freaking beefy that I could pack a punch. So this doesn't mean that the spiker's coming back. I'm just saying that they were playing around with the idea of it though. There were tons of really interesting bits of concept art, guys. If you want to see more, definitely check out the link in the description down below for Josh Kyle's workstation right here. He has a ton of Halo Infinite bits of concept art that we didn't cover in this video and some other games that he's worked on as well and also currently working on on top of that. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these bits of concepts that you would love to see fleshed out more in Halo Infinite. Do you want to see them return to the planet Reach? Do you want to see the Arbiter come back? Do you want a Spiker remade? Do you want the Spirit of Fire to come back? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.